We're almost a year on from the first case of COVID being identified in Ireland. This study, a first of its kind evaluation of Ireland's use of pandemic related emergency powers, sets out significant concerns that human rights and equality scrutiny has been sidelined when emergency powers have been put in place and we make recommendations to remedy this. The report has been written by four members of the COVID-19 Law and Human Rights Observatory at Trinity College Dublin, myself, Dr. Connor Casey, Professor Oren Doyle and Professor David Kenny. The report concludes that in broad terms, the core pandemic measures that have been taken, though restricting rights in various respects, are generally proportionate and justified in light of the scale of the public health emergency facing the state. However, several major problems exist. The Commission is concerned about the lack of human rights and equality expertise in the decision-making structure put in place to tackle the pandemic and in the systems that implement and scrutinise these decisions. The report finds that the government has persistently blurred the boundary between legal requirements and public health guidance in its COVID-19 response. It sets out that shifting relationships between the government and NEFIT and limited opportunity for Oireachtas oversight have made it difficult to ascertain where, if at all, human rights and equality concerns are being addressed. The report recommends that the government should at all times maintain a clear distinction between measures that are legally obligatory and public health advice. The report expresses the concern that enforcement powers are being exercised by the Guardi in a way that disproportionately affects groups such as young people, ethnic and racial minorities and travellers in Roma. This can't be ascertained because Angarda Shikwana doesn't maintain disaggregated data that tracks how enforcement powers are exercised against particular groups. This has become even more pressing as the use of new powers to find those travelling outside their home becomes more commonplace in recent times. The report therefore joins both the Human Rights and Equality Commission and the Policing Authority in recommending that the Garda Commissioner take steps to ensure that disaggregated data is obtained on the exercise of all enforcement powers, tracking all prohibited grounds of discrimination under the Equal Status Act. There is a need to enhance protections of human rights, equality and the rule of law when adopting and implementing emergency powers as we continue to grapple with the current pandemic, as we emerge from it and in future potential national emergencies.